In this video, we want to set up a way to kind of link the door to our key class. So that way our door only is going to open if we have a key. So we want to kind of figure out a way to, well, not necessarily figure out a way, but we need to be able to pass our inventory over to our door when we try to open it. So at the same time, this, we don't want to have extra functionality in our interface, for example. So instead, what we can do is kind of do a series of back and forth. So in our door class, when we go through and interact, well, we have our character right here. So what we can do is we can call a function that returns our inventory, in which case we can just iterate through it and check and see if we have a matching key. And at the same time, we also need to make sure we have a matching key. So it, that key doesn't have to be replicated or anything like that. So that's just going to kind of be set upon start. So what we're going to do is in our door.h, we're going to do a, uh, a actor, and let's just call it linked key. And inside of here, I want to, let's just make it a U property and blueprint read write, just in case we decide to do anything with it from blueprint, because I have a feeling we may. In which case, I want to set the category to equal escape room key. Okay. So we have our linked key variable inside that yeah inside the dot cpp we want to have if we have authority and our character is valid we want to then first off check and make sure a key is set so if linked key we want to try to find the matching key so what we're going to do is create a for loop so for a actor, key, and character. Now we just need to get access to our inventory from the character. So we're going to go to character.h and create a, let's make a u function, blueprint callable, and we're going to return a t array of a actor pointers, and let's call it get inventory. And all this is going to do is just return our inventory. So Nothing else to really do there, but inside the .cpp, we're going to do character, get inventory. Now, if this never worked for you, you have to come up here, and I never did this, but we have to include our escape room character.h, and that should uh, pretty much allow you to do it. So, now what we're going to do is if key is equal to the linked key, we can open the door. And that's all. So that allows us to also have other items in our inventory that are not keys, you know, if we need to. So we can just kind of do uh, comparisons amongst them. So I'm going to go ahead and relaunch the project and just see how this works. Okay, now that the project is open, we can click on the door here and look through it and hopefully it'll have the did I forget to make that a U property? No, I did not. I did blueprint read write. I also want to do edit anywhere. That would be my bad. So I'm going to relaunch it one more time. Okay, now I'm going to click on the door, escape room key, linked key. And as you can see, we have a bunch of actors to pick from. And in our case, I obviously want to pick the key. So here we have our BP unlocking key. We're going to set that, or we can click the eyedropper and then select the key. And now you can see it's set. So I'm going to save all. And let's attempt to open the door. So I have the server view on the right. I walk up, I press F, and the door is not unlocking. I pick up the key, walk over to the door, press F. Now I can open and close the door. So now if we do it on the server, press F, it doesn't work again. So what I want to be able to happen, I want to have the door be, uh, I don't know if I want to have the door have the ability to close or not, but at the same time, once the door is open or unlocked, I want the door to have the ability to be manipulated by anybody. So the key just does that initial unlock, and then from there, we can you know open and close the door at will. So what we're going to do, this doesn't have to be replicated since it's being handled on the server, we're going to have a boolean, so B unlocked. 
We're going to set this to be false by default. And then if this matches, we can set B unlocked equals true. And from there, the only thing we have to check is if B unlocked, or let me rephrase that, if the door is not unlocked and the linked key is valid, we want to search through the player's inventory and find a matching key. So only if the door is locked and if we have a linked key set. If we do not have you know, one of these fail, instead what we want to do is just simply open the door. So like so. That allows us to toggle the door open and closed. So again, we may have to change the header, so we have to relaunch the editor. And let's see just kind of what happens. Okay. So we have our door that's all, you know, still set. Try it and see. Press F. Nothing happens. Pick up the key. I unlock it so I can open and close. And now, as well, the server can open and close it as well, even though the server does not have the key anymore. So that fixes it. Well, nothing really fixed. That's just kind of another feature we have added. So you, once the door is unlocked, it is unlocked permanently. We do so really anyone can open and close the door now once it's unlocked so that's kind of the functionality that i want to have for the time being again like i said earlier i don't know if i want to have the door or i don't know if i want the door to have the ability to close once it's been opened so the only thing i could think of for having that ability would be if somebody for example drops an item between the door and a wall and they can't pick it back up for some odd reason based on level design they should be able to close the door, grab the item, and then they can open it back again. So that's really kind of all for that. So that gives us the keys section. We obviously have to eventually create a mesh for the key because a cube doesn't really look all that great. But we're getting the base functionality set up so we can really go through and, you know, I guess kind of design it later. But right now we have the pick up and hold. We have the dropping of the item. We do not have snapping down or physics based. I'm still kind of, I really don't know what I want to do on this yet. So that'll be kind of do, that'll be determined later. Let's actually just write done, done, done. And unlocking based on inventory. We're done there. Uh, part way done. So. We have that. Now, I'm trying to think of what I want to do next. I also want the interactables. So unlock based on player's inventory. I want to do open based on e code. So that'll be another thing I want to have. So if there's like a combination or something like that that you have to figure out, that's going to have to be kind of what controls that. So I want to have these kind of puzzles, just very simple ones. So I think that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and save. Uh, yeah, that's all I can think of to cover for this right now. So I'm not sure what we're going to do in the next video, but regardless, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, I have a Team Deathmatch series for patrons only, where we create Team Deathmatch using Unreal Engine with C++, as well as a couple other features like weapon customization, custom spawning, as well as you get early access to my videos, such as this one, Patreons Got to Watch First. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord server down below as well, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.